Hey everybody, it's Annalisa Neal with our September 2021 Couples in a Grill walkthrough. We want to say real quick that we are not paid by couples. This video is not endorsed. We just like doing it because we like couples and like Jamaica. So let's get into it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> There's going to be a hard cut here in a moment because there was somebody sitting in the lobby when we were shooting the video and we didn't want to put them on camera. So that is the road that you drive up when you check in. And here is the lobby up to the right is the front desk. And that's where you get all the goodies. <laughs> this, uh, all these windows here to the right, that's the piano bar, which is amazing. And beautiful and air conditioned. <laughs> and there is that lovely shot of the main pool and the pool bar. So this video is very long. We talked throughout the whole thing. If that gets annoying, by all means, just put on some Bob Marley and mute us. <laughs> We, we do double back a bit. We try to speed up the video in areas that um, we double back uh, simply because it is a very long video, but we really like to give people an idea of what the actual layout of the resort is, how big it is, and what it's like to walk through. So there to the left is the... Cassava. Cassava uh, Terrace Bar and Restaurant. And they do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And usually breakfast and lunch and dinner is uh, buffet style. However, this was shot during COVID, so things were a little different. <laughs> There's a little kitty. So we're actually walking back from where we just saw that kitty. That restaurant on the first floor there is Otahiti. That one does, uh, you do need reservations for that. We're going to be back to that in a second. It's the fancy place. Um, the, the video is kind of a little herky-jerky um, just because of the way people were spread out early in the morning. So... Um, we are now walking. Go ahead. You were going to say. I was going to say that's Light You right here on the right. And it's yeah. our favorite restaurant. So it's kind of an Asian fusion and uh, delicious. So now we're going back the way we just came. A lot of backtracking. Anyway, this, this room is kind of the games room. They have some, as you can see, some casino games, a uh, pool table. They actually have a cigarette machine. There are some books here that you can just borrow while you're uh, staying on vacation. They have a TV and a couch where you can watch. Games. watch. Yeah, a lot sports. of people come in there and watch sports. There's also a computer and a printer in here. So if you need to use that, if you didn't bring your computer or you need a printer to print out your boarding prep passes, uh, the books are um, in many different languages. Yes, and uh, in, for, for you to enjoy. And there's the popcorn machine. It wasn't in service right at that moment, but again, COVID times, it comes and goes. So yeah. Things are a little different. Check in, yeah. There's Annalise at the Hi. door waiting for me. <laughs> and a fire extinguisher. And again, air conditioning if you just need a little respite. So again, it, like I said, it's kind of goofy because we walked towards this area. And now we're walking back. Uh, but again, it was there were we shot this early in the morning, but there were some people out. And we just didn't want to have them in the shot because we didn't ask for their permission. Yeah, privacy so, issues, you know. As Annalise said, right here to the left is the lychee restaurant. You do not need a reservation for that. Um, our favorite, oh, it's as our you favorite. said. <laughs> we probably eat there, you know, like, I don't know, four nights out of seven. I think it, I think it's one of those, yeah, every other every other night. You're right. Coming up here to the right is one of the uh, restrooms that are available, mm -hmm. and obviously hand-washing station. Right. Uh, inside Light is also a small bar. Although I've never seen anybody in there actually like sitting sitting at the bar, but, but there uh, there is I believe there's stools. I think you mm -hmm. could. We should try that sometime. <laughs> Might why, as well. Why not? <laughs> so again, we're we're cruising by through the lychee. Right in front of us is the photo shop. This is where you go to look at the pictures uh, that the resort photographers take of you. There's no obligation. The resort photographers walk around all day long. By all means, we say take advantage of it. You yeah. can always go look. You don't have to buy anything. That's, right. There's no pressure at you all whatsoever. You get some great shots. Yes. And you can make appointments with them if you want sunset uh, pictures or wedding pictures or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. You can make appointments with them. Just so. want to have the photographer follow you around. And a lot of times, they don't charge for that service. You just buy the pictures you want. Right. There's the veggie bar. It is to the right uh, when you're looking at the ocean of the main pool. And this is the grill. Hellasonia. Hellasonia, which uh, during the day is just the beach grill. At night, it becomes a sit-down restaurant. And overnight, it becomes yeah. the late-night snack area. Midnight fries. How you doing? <laughs> so hot tubs on either side of the pool. 
I also want to say how Sony has its own uh, bar where you can sit and also it has an espresso machine if you would like a cappuccino or whatever. Oh, that's right. So they also put out the menus for all the restaurants and a couple different spots throughout the resort. During non-COVID times, this area that we're going to walk into on the right would usually have like self-serve uh, chips. Nachos and a salad bar. Salad and bar. Ice cream. Ice cream and beef patties. Yeah. Now... All of that you have to get from the grill. However, they had it dialed in really, really well. There was no waiting. It was all seamless. It was all fine. They have it dialed. They're really good at this. So, you know, and there's the bar. And there again, this is in the morning. So they're doing cleaning and all of that. But normally there are chairs here. So you can sit here and have a drink or an espresso, whatever your heart desires. Whatever your heart or both. (laughs) Freaking get after it. It's vacation. Double fist the espresso and the cocktail. (laughs) There you go. Um... So there's the espresso machine, and this area, as we said, also becomes sit-down dinner, and food's excellent. This yes. is more of a, like a Mediterranean... Yeah, I would say Mediterranean, exactly. Yeah. It's Medi- also, everything's fusion. I mean, everything yeah, is... Yeah, it's island, American, English, Mediterranean fusion. Um, this is also often where they have the repeaters dinner. I know some people ask about that, and uh, they often have it here. It depends on how many couples are going. And the weather. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. I mean, obviously. It goes without saying. We're not going to make you sit outside if it's raining. Well, we might. So uh, coming down to this little area here, this is actually one of the smoking sections. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a lovely couch area to sit and relax and watch the ocean. So whether you're smoking or not, it's a lovely place to be, but it is one of the designated smoking areas. And then this is the little pool bar area. And also there to the right of the pool bar, you can see you can just walk up from the beach and get your own beverage. They also have uh, flag service, so they'll give you a flag if you're sitting on the beach. You can put your flag in the ground, and that's the second video that I <laughs> left that in. We just did the San Susi video, and apparently I cleaned the lens and totally... Neil is very concerned about the cleanliness of the flag. <laughs> I did not cut out my lens cleaning, so there you go. Uh, We're concerned for all of you, just so you know. Couples has an app, and you can download that app, and then you can actually take a picture. They have it on the bar, and you can have the full bar menu on your phone. Yeah. So. We showed it briefly there, but that little hut on the beach was where you exchange your beach towels. Very lonely volleyball. <laughs> and I didn't finish, but saying they have the flag service, so you put your flag in the ground when you're on the beach. Somebody will come over and take your drink order. This is another smoking area. Uh, these two areas, the one that we're just passing yeah. now as well as up here. Yeah. This is also a smoking area, but again, it's just a lovely place to sit and have lunch or morning coffee and watch the ocean. And at night, these uh, lanterns are lit. And then we're going back towards it's me pouring the, wine. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, back towards the pool uh, deck and bar, and they the, recently the Cassava Terrace. Right, they recently redid the patio here, so these are all new pavers. And I believe it rained the night before, hence all the water. Just FYI, it's not just randomly water there. And at that station you just showed is COVID time, so they're wash hand stations, sanitary stations all over the place to keep everyone safe. Yeah, they they really had it had it dialed in, and it but it didn't feel cumbersome. It just no. was kind of part of the deal. Yeah, there. See, there you go, hand washing. Um, it, we just briefly showed the pool and the volleyball net was up, and they do volleyball a few times a day, and uh, you know, play if you want. Okay. I was going to say the open air restaurant, again, is not only wonderful for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, That's the stage we just showed, and that's where they have the nightly entertainment during dinner and uh, sometimes after dinner. It depends. Sometimes they have lunch and breakfast uh, entertainment as well, but uh, that's usually the place to have uh, dinner dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. (laughs) Uh, Plenty of pool chairs. Um, Yeah. the We've resort, never not been able to get a pool chair. No, the re, the resort they do a really good job of not overselling, so people can find a place to go. It's 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 a great place. It's beautiful. Um, also, we just showed there the bar for um, that uh, grill cassava. area and for cassava. And so again, you can sit there and get a drink. And uh, they're again they were cleaning and all of that, so the cha- all the chairs weren't there, but they're. And here to the right is Zotahiti. That is, you do need a reservation for that. Men do need to wear long pants. Food is amazing. Service is amazing. The ambiance in there is amazing. It's fancy. This is something new. Uh, I don't know if it was there in 2019 it when we not. went, but it's like a little coffee station. Yeah, it's a coffee think, bar. Think of like uh, in the states. Think of like pizza or Starbucks. Mm-hmm. You can get a mocha, a latte, whatever. They sometimes have little pastries there as well. Uh, it's fancy and it's nice. They have a computer set up there as well. So now we're walking back towards Cassava. Here to the left are uh, more restrooms, mm-hmm. men's and women's. 
And again, air conditioned. The air conditioned bathroom was very nice. And they had uh, sanitary stations outside, as you saw, for um, sanitizing your hands and whatever. And another area where they show all of the menus for all of the restaurants. Yeah, apparently, I decided I didn't want to actually show that. <laughs> well, you oh, showed it. You oh, showed I'm coming it. back. There you we go. You did show it before already. There so. we go. Oh. Hi. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, walking back towards the pool. Now, to give you a sense, behind us on the second floor is where we first came in, where you first check in. So this was the on the on the pool floor, pool floor, first floor of the pool shot. <laughs> so floor. there you go. So there's uh, where you check in, where we took that first shot. Yeah, the lobby and the piano bar to the left and to the right, which we'll walk up and show you is uh, customer service and reservations, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, reservations for your dinners. You can also do it on the phone, but yes. reservations for dinner, reservations for the uh, sunset cruise mm -hmm. slash booze cruise. Also, where you want, if you wanted to do some excursions, mm -hmm. as well as any other questions you might right. have. Oh, love that open air mm -hmm. lobby, so beautiful. So down this way again to the left would be the piano bar, which we could have went in, but we didn't because no one was working and we didn't want to take over the whole place. Restrooms for the upstairs lobby and the piano bar. We also passed by a couple of doors, which are offices. And those stairs down there would, at the bottom of the stairs to the right is where the Photoshop is. So kind of tying it all together right. from where we were at Lychee slash the Photoshop. Hi. There you are again. <laughs> I can't remember where the wedding uh, office is. It used one. to be across from... It used to be right there. I think that's why I keep thinking. From the piano bar, but I'm not it's sure not it is anymore. And now. that's why I didn't want to say. So... Right in front of us is one of the gift shops. It's known as the, what is it, the the couple's, um, not emblem, but the couple's logo gift right, shop. the brand gift shop, yeah. And uh, there's uh, bathing Dress suits, shirts, dresses, hats. Yeah, uh, scarves. Stuff with really couple's jewelry, logos on it, yeah. Really, some really nice stuff in there. So this is where you would make all your reservations for dinner, for uh, private dinners, for Odahiti, for, yeah. yes. Um, they also do uh, tea time at 4 p.m., I believe. They roll out some tea and uh, snacks and things like that. So um, if you're you know, English and you like your tea time, it's usually served up there. Or if you're not English and you like your tea time. I, I love a tea time. <laughs> so there's, there's the couple shop to the right. And to the left is the regular gift shop where they have snacks, medicines, sunscreen. shirts, sunscreen, um, you know, Tough stuff to tea. take. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's and it's kind of cool that they have a lot of local artists that sell their stuff in there, which is yeah, really cool. Really cool, and that's also where you can get your uh, rum, rum and cream, <laughs> rum cream for the room. <laughs> Absolutely. There's another excursions desk out here that we passed by that we'll kind of show briefly here, and that's it's gonna, um, yeah, this shot will end it, on the tour desk. Right, the tour desk. Thank you, because it's not affiliated with couples, but you can uh, book tours here. So again. We're going to zip back down. This is the same way we came the first time, but just, I think now we're going to actually go through the blocks, uh, and the room, the building numbers and the rooms. Right. Show a little more of the resort. The resort kitty. kitty. Hi. They do have resort kitty feeding stations. So people ask that you please don't feed them at the restaurants because they don't want the kitties to get used to it. But there are feeding stations for them if you want to visit them or help feed them. And it is kind of a bummer for people who are allergic to cats trying to have their food and yeah. <laughs> However, people still feed the cats, uh, but you know, just throwing out the just throwing out the ideas. So, um, building this, six. These are the garden rooms. Yeah, I believe uh, so. Uh, so it, I'm not. I don't want to say because right, I'm not exactly say, sure. But um, but the guard but the garden areas in between the suites and the buildings are beautiful. So, if you do get a garden room, it's beautiful. Yeah, there are, <laughs> there aren't bad rooms. Some some people like the garden rooms better because you don't have the noise of things going on on the beach. Not that it gets very noisy. Obviously, some people like the beach more because the beach. you're on the freaking beach. So this is uh, one of the wedding gazebo. Well, there's cornhole <laughs> <laughs> and the beach volleyball. Right. But this is the wedding gazebo, uh, the beach wedding gazebo. This is actually where we got married. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. So we slowed it down. And then right. to the left is where the all-natural... Uh, beach is for couples right. and you can see the roped off areas for swimming so that dividing line right there in front of us would this is to the, the right would be yeah. the regular to the left would be the natural area so 
decided to take, uh, <laughs> we'll take a little breather here and actually look at the lovely sea <laughs> It is waters. private and there's a hedge and private ways to get in and out of that area. So um, you won't see each other. So you don't have to worry about that at all. We're actually going to head over there now since it was early in the morning. There was nobody there yet, but wanted to show... Um, right, and we haven't showed it in the past, so this is a... We don't do a full walkthrough, but we do show that it, it's got its own bar and the bathrooms and stuff like right. that. So at the end of Building 9, that is the entrance to the unnatural area. You can see the bar right there, mm -hmm. and there's a, a, a restroom and a changing room. And then this is Building 9. This is uh, the farthest building closest, does make any sense, farthest closest to the unnatural area. Throughout the whole resort, they have filtered water stations. They don't have bottled water, but they give you bottles that you can fill Refill, with filtered right. water as well as in your room. And the little um, cubby next to the water was an ice station. So you have ice and water at that station. Another. So there's like two per block. Uh, and there's ice. But that Rubbermaid thing was ice. I believe it's Rubbermaid. I'm not I sure. I believe so. Then this is looking back to where we just came from. Would you consider this the back of the resort? It's hard to say. This it's is building the, eight. Right. It's towards the road and the, you know, as opposed to towards the beach. Yeah. We really like this side. Yeah. It's We've really stayed quiet on this side a couple times. And it's private and tropical. And there's one of the basketball courts. There's the, the, it's a half court basketball, uh, but it's in really good shape and a lot of fun. <laughs> if you like basketball. If you don't, it's not that much fun at all. <laughs> if basketball is your jam, that's pretty fun. Yeah. Most of the resorts, I believe, I don't want to assume all, but most of the resorts also have a garden tour. If you're interested in the plants and the wildlife, they Building tours. 7. Yeah, the, all the ones, when we've been there, at the to all four, they've always had it. So unless they stopped it, I would imagine they right. still do. And again, if you have any questions, by all means, you can email us. We've been to couples a, a few times. We've been to all four of the resorts. More than happy. We'd love to talk about Jamaica. love to talk about couples. So if you have any questions, you can always email us. We'll have an email link in the description. You can also just hit us up through the actual YouTube channel. But here's a parking lot, which I decided I thought I should show, <laughs> just in case you're driving there. I don't want to get it wrong, but is Negril uh, close enough to Swept Away that you are allowed to use the gym at Swept Away? No, that's Idle a While. Idle a While. Okay, yeah, gotcha. no, no. Gotcha. If you stay at Idle a While, which is also owned by couples, you can use the couple swept away gym. gym complex yeah as they like to call it and for this video we do have a couple of room walkthrough videos as well as a gym walkthrough video we don't walk through the gym in this video um but anyway we, we just came back around uh now we're back in front of cassava in the main area is that right? yep, cassava? Cassava, yep. okay. and uh, right from the two-story lobby area there and oh to heidi so we we kind of did this walk before but figured uh, it is the main area. Like that pool is literally in the middle of the resort. So it's the main point to kind of go off of and help you um, find your place where you are. So there's lychee to the right. There's the game room to the right. And now we're going to go through the other blocks of, of rooms. Right. On this trip, I believe we were in, in block two or building two. Mm -hmm. So this is building one. And you can see the ice uh giant ice bucket and again there's the filtered water um, that is the games room and then in front of us right now is is the open air part of the gym and then there's the enclosed air conditioned part of the gym and we do have a full gym walkthrough like i said we didn't walk through it on this uh video but we'll go ahead and set up a, a link so you can see that whole gym area. It hadn't changed since the last time we did a walkthrough. <laughs> right. That's why I didn't walk um, through. They also, um, just so everyone knows, they have classes. They have yoga classes and aerobic classes. You can sign up for that. And I believe you can also um, make appointments with their trainer as well. So you can look into that if you... And the tennis courts here? This is a very popular tennis resort. I think they have six courts. I think. I'm not sure. And they usually have a tennis pro, but obviously check with the front desk for hours of the tennis pro and if you can make an appointment with the tennis pro. I think they also try to help you find partners to play tennis with if your partner doesn't like to play tennis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or if you guys want to play doubles. Yep. Never know. It's a whole tennis, tennis thing. <laughs> Extravaganza. <laughs> so building three. And go ahead and cruise around to some of the other <laughs> tennis courts. Coconut tree. 
As you can see, we're again at around seven ish in the morning, and uh, there's not too many people around, and it's super quiet. And but the sun is shining, and it's a beautiful place. Yes. More tennis courts. It's just tennis, <laughs> tennis for days. We're, we're just showing you that it's they got <laughs> a lot of tennis courts. <laughs> Building four. <laughs> Yeah, we, we we know that the videos can be long, but it we always like when we go somewhere new to be able to actually watch a video that shows you the whole ground. Yeah, so. I want to know what's going on. Up uh, in front of us here is the nurse's station and the groundskeeper's office. Right. And the nurse's station, which uh, gets used quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, you never know. <laughs> We've seen some uh, We've seen some, some sunburns <laughs> going in. A lot of sunburns and occasional twisted ankle, things like uh, that, you know. Beach volleyball, got a occasional occasional drunk person that uh, you know <laughs> doesn't little, make that first step. Goes a little too hard. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, building uh, the other side of building four, and to the right of us is the next property line. I believe this is uh, building five. Right, and you can see right there to the right is a different building, and that's a different resort. And so we're going to come up here. Uh, we're going to take a left. We're going to go by. There's a couple little ponds. This is one of the areas where there are a lot of the crabs are. So mm -hmm. at night, you can come and check out the crabs. <laughs> They're running around. Um, there's also a, another. I'm sorry, I was go ahead. some hidden uh, hammocks all over the place. And there's one right there. Another wedding gazebo area. Mm -hmm. Some people like to get married here by the little ponds. They are koi ponds. There are fish in the ponds. Super private. I'm going to say super ponds lush. over and over. <laughs> it's also really just a nice, quiet place to sit and read a book. They have chairs and tables out there, and you can sit on the grass, you know, whatever you want to do. There's Hi. Annalise. <laughs> and here, this building here is the spa. So this is where you would come and get your massage, uh, nails, hair. Yep. And again, I've had my nails and hair done here because I got married here, and I had mm -hmm. my hair done, and it was lovely, and they were great. So, this great is where experience. you got married. This is where I got married. <laughs> Very nice. I don't know where you got married. Right. <laughs> but again, it's very uh, tranquil and private, and um, there's the offices where the hair and nails are, and you check in there. But then the actual massage rooms are off to the right here. And there's also other places to get massage, which we'll show you later. There is a tree house. And, and those also, are buildings two and three. I'm sorry, just to give an sure. idea. Yeah. Um, a tree house and a uh, place on the beach to get a massage as well, if that is your. I don't know if we shoot the tree house, but I do think we shoot the beach yes, massage I area. Yes, And obviously on the couple's website, they have shots of the tree house and other shots, things. Shots, 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 shots. <laughs> Pictures, not shots. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Getting on Bob Marley shots for everybody. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so now we're we're just walking to the left of us is where the uh, the pond and the spa is. We're going to head to water sports. Mm -hmm. This little pool here coming up on our left is where they teach uh, beginner diving class, scuba yeah, diving. Scuba diving. Yep. It's also a place you can just come and hang out. It's kind of nice because it is shaded most of the most of the day. And there's usually not too many people there. But keep in mind, water sports does use it. So if they you know ask you politely to move because they're going to do a class then or you know. it just gets a little noisy while everyone's practicing so right. we go to water sports so this is obviously where obviously obviously <laughs> you can rent your paddle boards your um hobie cats mm -hmm. all the water sports stuff that they offer can be done here the little building is to the left yeah, and the water sports guys are great. They'll uh, teach you how to do something if you don't know how, um, but they'll leave you alone if you do. So whatever you uh, want to do. Yeah, if it's something you want to try and you've never tried it before, they are more than happy to help you out. They, yeah. There's no no need to be shy or concerned. Right. Even like some, with the Hobie cats, even if you don't know how to sail, but you just want to go out, one of the guys will take you out. Yeah. That's fine. And this is also where you check out your snorkel equipment and all of that. So. And so this is this is the beach for the resort. It is a public beach, so you do have vendors. You will have uh, musicians. They are all very respectful. Uh, if they are offering things to sell, whether it's coffee or smokes or whatever, um, <laughs> and a simple no, no thank you will do it. There, yeah, and they're only no allowed high to come up to a certain point. So they're not going to come up and sit not next gonna, to you. Yeah, exactly. And, and if you've been there a few years. You, you actually become friends with the yeah. local vendors. and Everyone's you know. really cool. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and again, as we're showing you here, you never have to want for a chair. 
uh, as busy as they are, it never really feels crowded or busy. So there, you can always get a chair. So you don't have to worry about that. And that's one of the massage massage huts yeah. right there to the left. And then straight ahead is a restroom. Yeah. And I think that one of the really great things we're showing here along the beach is how uh, beautiful and calm and uh, quiet it is. It's uh, uh, This is Bloody Bay. And, right? Uh, uh, the grill is on Bloody Bay. Yes. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, so it's just uh, really beautiful to watch the sunrise and sunset here. And uh, you can uh, arrange for to have a private dinner on the beach and a private breakfast on the beach, whatever your heart desires. And that little red, green, and gold shack, I'll, I'll call it a shack, um, <laughs> it's is, a shack. is they sell sunscreen and hats and uh, some snorkel equipment. You don't need to bring your own snorkel equipment, but if you wanted your own, they sell some there. It wasn't open while we were there simply because, I believe, because of COVID. And also, uh, in 2021, um, occupancy was very, very low, so there was really no need to have yeah. it. That area, that thing to the left right there that you see, that little hut, that's actually a self-service bar. So it usually has all your soft drinks as well as like uh, whiskey, rum, gin, and vodka. So you can add it to your drinks or make your own drinks. Again, because of everything going on, they didn't have that open. The little hut that you're looking at right now, uh, that's where Annalise was saying you exchange your beach towels during the day. And so you just take your dirty beach towels, they'll give you clean beach towels. You don't have to show a key or a card or anything like that. <laughs> um, they do have lifeguard stations here. Sometimes there's lifeguards, not always, but there's always a security guard at each point of the resort. Just um, not because anything bad happens. They just want to be aware if you wander away from the resort, they want to know that you made it back okay. And yeah. it's for your safety, you know, so just you check in with them when you wander away from the resort and you check back in when you come back. You can walk down this beach at, uh, in front of all the others. Uh, hotels. There's also a little, uh, what do you call it? A little like vendor station yeah, way down the beach. They also bring thing. vendors onto the beach, but it's safe to totally walk down the beach. Mm-hmm. The Office of Nature is on this beach. There's a lot of things lobster, going on the beach. Yep. We do have a beach walkthrough video, um, kind of just down, the, almost like three quarters of the way down the yeah. beach. If you want to check that out, we'll put a link. But this is pretty much Couples Negril and... We hope yeah. you enjoyed it. If you, again, if you have any <laughs> questions, let us know. Yeah, and again, you can see how beautiful and calm the water is at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's a really beautiful place. And if you guys any questions, let us know. Enjoy your vacation, and <laughs> uh, we'll be back next year with more videos. Cheers. Bye. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. If you liked the video, video would be great if you gave it a thumbs up because that helps us out. And if you subscribe to the channel. We've been doing drinking video all, video videos all day, so we just thought this would be a good time to make an ending video. Cheers. <laughs>